What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the back. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is draw two lines at the top and that's going to be the neck. So just two lines not too far away from each other like that. And then I'm going to make a big trapezoid shape, an upside down trapezoid. So like I said, big huge upside down trapezoid okay and then while we're at it we can make a line of symmetry so I'm just gonna drag my pencil all the way down like this let me do that again so you guys can see that and there we go, we got us a line of symmetry. And now we can um, fix our trapezoid, just in case. Because we want that to be symmetrical. Okay. And now right below, we're gonna draw a square that connects to the trapezoid. Or, um, like that so now that we have our guidelines what I am going to do now is draw in parts of the arm but for this video I'm not going to draw the entire arm I'm just going to draw like a small part of it maybe go up to the shoulders maybe a little bit to the arm and stop there and that's all I'm going to do so I'm going to make a sloping line coming off of one of these necklines here then make a big curve around the corner of the trapezoid like this And then construct part of the arm, but like I said, I'm not going to draw the entire one. So, just going to make a cylinder coming off of this little curve that we just finished making. Like that. And then, keeping everything symmetrical, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Sloping line. Curve around the corner. and then cylinder and then have it connect back to our upside down trapezoid like that okay so now that we have our guidelines in place let me switch to my 4b pencil and let me erase some of these so that way we can draw over top of them okay Hopefully you guys can still see that, but now that I have my 4B pencil, I can come off of here where the trapezoid and the square kind of connect. And I'm going to make a curve coming around this line like this. Sort of like a parenthesis shape. And same thing on the other side. What we're making right now is a scapula. And then let me switch to my 4H pencil. And we're going to make those into some U shapes, letter U shapes. But they're not going to cross over this line of symmetry because that's going to show the trapezius right about here. And then down here will be the latissimus dorsi. So we're just going to make a scapula. And it's going to come really close to the line of symmetry. Like that. So it should look like a big huge large pair of sunglasses and then switching back to my 4b pencil I'm just gonna darken those lines but I'm not gonna go all the way to the top where we stopped at and I'm not gonna connect these lines together only because that's me but let me erase those now since we don't need them anymore do the same thing down here and up here draw that in Okay, and then now coming back down here, let's make a little X about three quarters of the way to the bottom of this square. And again, doing that on both sides. And now making an X on this U shape, just a little bit off of where we stopped at. Like that. And I'm just gonna make straight lines connecting the two X's together. like so 
all right and then using these two X's that are down here we're gonna make a curve coming right to the bottom of this square coming out so it's not gonna hit this point where the square is it's just gonna be a little bit off like that and again doing that on both sides okay but now let's turn this to the side and I'm gonna make a curve connecting the endpoints of these two curves with a whole nother curve that goes around the straight line of our square, like this. So instead of making a straight line like this, it's gonna be somewhat of a curve going around it. Something like a parentheses shape, a parentheses curve, like that. And you should end up with something that looks like this. That's gonna be the waist. And if you want, I'm gonna extend these lines so that way my character here looks like he's wearing pants. And let me scribble in that a little bit. Okay, and then now I'm gonna draw in some parts of the line of symmetry. Cause like I said, down here will be the latissimus dorsi. And then up here, close to the top, that'll be the trapezius. So I'm just gonna draw in some jagged lines up here. Like that. And now let me erase these two straight lines over here. I'm gonna instead make those curved. And while our X's are still there, or at least still visible, I'm gonna make an S curve. So coming off of this X, it's gonna curve out. And then as you get to the midpoint of this line, we're going to curve in and making that a little bit straight. Like that. So it's going to curve out. Then around the midpoint, which is about here. And make that somewhat straight and connect to the other X. Like that. And now I'm just going to draw in the arms. You don't have to at this stage, but that's really all we have left to do is to draw in parts of the arms. You can draw the whole arm if you want to, but like I said, I'm not going to do the entire arm. So I'm just going to make sure my character here has some muscles. Right here are the deltoids. And then this is a small part of the arm like that now real quick i'm just going to finalize this sketch and after doing that that's how you do it that's how you draw the back so if you liked the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you in my next video I can't let a nigga like